In your Projects tab, right-click, Create Shader and choose Shader Graph. If you don't have Universal Render Pipeline imported and don't know how to do it, jump here or read in the description below how to do it. Now that the Shader Graph tab is open, you can see my background shader. If you want to achieve the same effect, just copy what you see. But if you want to understand it and be able to create some cool procedural animations yourself, I will briefly explain most useful nodes you're gonna need. Very noise. It creates these procedural bubbles. You can control their density with this slider and their angle offset with this one. There are two outputs. First gives us those bubbles and the second one gives us this cool shattered glass app. Now to make those bubbles float, we just need the time node. Connecting it is basically like adding time.deltaTime to your movement function. To control the speed, you can add multiply node. To make it go faster, multiply by larger number and to go slower by smaller one. Pretty easy so far. Another important note is a color node. If you didn't know in shaders, black color indicates that the value there is 0 and white that there is 1. So if we multiply the Voronoi node with some color, every black part will stay black because multiplying by 0 always returns 0 and white will take the given color. But we have all those shades of grey that we don't want. Here's where the step node comes in. It paints white only parts where the value is greater or smaller than given number, the rest is black. To replace the black space we can either use invert colors node or reorganize the inputs in the step node and then multiply it again with some different color. Our first node has color circles and black space between them, the second one has color space and black circles, now we just add them together and we get this. Now you know probably everything you need to make this effect yourself, but don't worry, I will help you a bit more. To make those donut shapes, you just make two different sides of circles. Now invert the smaller one so there are now black circles and multiply them together. This gives us the donut shape that we can now color and to color this black space, well, you know what to do. To make my shader I just made three types of donuts with different sizes, colors and speed. Then I multiplied each by 0.33 and added them together. Multiplying by that number weakens them, so after adding them up we don't get values bigger than 1. If you want to add together more donut types, just multiply them by different number. 1 fourth if there are 4 of them, 1 fifth if there are 5 of them, you get the idea. Now that our shader is ready, just right click on it, choose create, material and voila! If you want to be able to modify different values like colors, speed, size in the inspector tab, just create properties here and attach them to the nodes you want to control them with. Hope I helped you and that you will now make some awesome shaders. If you wanna share them with me, just send them via Twitter. If you have any problems or troubles in figuring out how to do something you want to, just ask here on YouTube or I will be more than happy to help you. This is my first tutorial, so if there are some places that I could improve, be sure to let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, to the next time. How to install it? Go to Windows, Package Manager, select Packets with Unity Registry and find Universal Render Pipeline. Install it, then right click in your project tab, go to Create, Rendering, Universal Render Pipeline and choose Forward Asset. Then go to Project Settings, Graphics and in the Scriptable Render Pipeline settings, choose our new pipeline.